What's going on guys? So before we get into today's video, thank you so much for 1000 subscribers. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. I haven't thought of a 1k special, but I will. I can't wait to make community posts and if you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Today's video though is X-Plane Starship. It's developed by X-Plane for the whole SpaceX Starlink internet service satellite thingy. I'm not the most up to date on it, but again, it's developed by the X-Plane developers Laminar Research. This is the menu. You can check your ship specs. You have a co-pilot called Austin. You can fly solo. You can have a cockpit walkthrough and then there's just the options. And here it's like volume, volume, volume and something like that. It's really annoying. But either way, you can pad hop, skydive, landing, hyperbolic entry and a launch on Mars. I'm hoping one of you guys know more than I do, because honestly, I have no idea what's going on. As you've seen my piloting skills, can you imagine me being an astronaut? Yeah, exactly. But we're going to go straight into the pad hop, don't even need that brief. Here is the Starlink. And yeah, I, I, I don't know how I feel about the simulator. It's, it's pretty cool, it's original, it's interesting, and again... It's made by Laminar. This is the cockpit. I actually haven't seen the cockpit of the Starlink, so I don't know how accurate it is, but based on it being Laminar, I'm assuming it's fairly accurate. So yeah, let's get straight into it. I don't know what any of the buttons do, but we're taking off. We're gonna fly away. Um, honestly, I had no idea what I was doing. Really, really didn't. I skipped the brief and yeah. Um, so basically you fly it like a flight simulator, Except the only difference is the plane takes off horizontally and goes up. This just takes off vertically. So, yeah, trying to use my flight simulation experience obviously didn't work too well for me, as you can see. I thought we had to just take off and then basically land back here. Um, but I don't think I was meant to. And as you can see, my piloting skills weren't the best. Uh, you use your phone and you go left and you go right and you push forward and then that happens um, yeah so not the best um, astronaut in the world but I think I'm going to check out the brief and we'll be right back so I watched the brief um, apparently this is an aeroplane an aircraft I don't know how I feel about that because I feel I am an astronaut and not a pilot while I was doing this but that's what they keep calling it so basically after all that that yellow circle over there is my target that is where I need to be it doesn't look hard. It looks relatively easy. But I don't want to say I'm bad. Try it yourselves. Honestly, I don't want to say I'm, I'm bad. I do like that you get to blow all those things away. Honestly, at the start, I thought it was birds and I felt really bad. But this is the outcome of this. I was trying to get to that yellow circle. And then I um, kind of ran out of fuel and tried to get back there. But um, yeah, it, I just ran out of fuel basically. So that ended that flight. Not the best astronaut, I repeat, not the best. But it's kind of cool, isn't it? Right, third attempt, here we go. Again, I just need to get to that yellow circle. So this time I thought, if I just flip the phone forward, I have to be able to go straight across to it. Looks really well so far, really well. Look at this. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. No, okay, go back, go back. Okay. Houston, I, I think we have a problem. I fell over. If somebody could help, that would be great. Okay, the fourth attempt. I think this is the fourth, fourth attempt? Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Here we go, pushing the phone forward again. Later. And this is the outcome. Again, again. I, I don't know, piloting definitely is not my, my fourth. So here we go, fifth attempt, is it? Yeah, yeah, just skipping straight straight to the outcome. I got to the circle this time. Okay, sixth attempt. The outcome. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, then. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna lie down here. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Okay, this is the millionth attempt. Um, lost track of where I was, but here we go. <laughs> Guys, come on, come on! That look at that precision—it's the absolute bullseye. 
that is a lot harder than I thought. So we're gonna try to skydive next. Um, yeah, that sounds fun. So basically, I need to go up there. This is what the brief said. Straight up into there, launch it, and then nosedive, but be horizontal on the nosedive. So that it slows down because apparently that's where the center of gravity is on the aircraft, as they call it. And then put in the Raptor's landing thrust. And I should gently and gracefully land back on the target. So here we are. I think we're high enough to commence the nosedive. Um, yeah. Okay, we're in the cockpit. There's the sun. It's like being on a roller coaster. Here we go. Okay. This is where this is the part where everyone starts screaming and like throwing their hands around and thinking it's fun. Um, okay, he didn't say have a nosedive like as in face straight down. So I'm trying to level it out. Um, this is the loop the loop of the roller coaster. Just to let you know where we're at. Okay, we're trying to land. Please land. Please land. Please land. Okay. Yeah. So we'll try again straight up. And then we'll try nosedive and gracefully land back on the pad. So we are high enough now. Here we go. Halfway around the loop to loop. Nose diving. Crashing, crashing, crashing. No, no, slowing. Crashing. No, we crashed. Okay, so this isn't working out exactly as I had planned. Um, I don't blame you for not feeling safe. So I'm just going to skip to Mars because I feel Earth is not where my astronaut skills are the best so basically with this i need to use the drag of the air to slow down um and go in like a pencil and then land but yeah you've seen my landing skills so far probably not my uh, click so um that was the first attempt guys just just putting it out there okay so this looks promising this is how i was meant to come in straight like a pencil and then the air will slow me down or something like that. I'm not a scientist. But basically, that should slow me down enough. And then I'm meant to gracefully land. But somehow I'm now facing the opposite direction. I don't know what's happening. And um, yeah, this, this you now we're doing a roly-poly. And this isn't what was supposed to happen. And we, we crashed. Oh. Okay, I'm going to skip that. I tried to do the middle mission, but it just kept crashing for some weird reason. So basically now, the objective of this... Is to fly straight up. I can't fail. I'm just flying straight up. I'm gonna reach a hundred altitude. I don't really get the whole astronaut altitude thing. And I need to be going 12,000 kilometers an hour. Something like that. And then I should, in theory, orbit around Mars. I think that's what he said. So basically I'm just going straight up in the air. And yeah. So yeah, there's Mars in the background. Look at this. A few moments later. Okay, we're here. We're here. Honestly, this took so long. That's why I had to skip some of it. It really took a long time. I don't I don't I didn't think it would take that long. But apparently we are now orbiting around Mars. See? I knew I couldn't fail this one because there was no other objective. I just had to keep the thing straight and fly vertically. That's all. That was the only objective. So I have successfully launched the Starlink. Here we are, looking like a pencil. But anyway guys, that's all I'm going to include for today's video. If you enjoyed, please slap that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Maybe hit that notification bell if you want to see more. And yeah, I just hope you enjoyed today's video. And thank you all so, so, so much for 1000 subscribers. Honestly, it means the world to me. I never thought I'd see it. But yeah, wait for those community posts. Bye.